hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is types of detector that are used in gas chromatography there are three detectors that are generally used in gas chromatography they are first flame ionization detector which is also called as fid second thermal conductivity detector which is also called as tc cells and third electron capture detector which is also called as ecd but before going into the details regarding the detector part if you all want to understand principle and instrumentation of gas chromatography you all can check the video that i have already uploaded on my youtube channel link is in the description so without a further delay let us go into the details of the video if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads flame ionization detector let us understand the function of detector first the function of detector is to sense and to measure the separated components in the carrier gas flow leaving the column the choice of detector depends on the nature of the sample and the level of analysis flame ionization detector is generally used because of its high sensitivity a flame supported by hydrogen gas and air is used to burn organic vapors as they leave the column electrons and ionic fragments are produced upon combustion of the organics this is the reaction that takes place organic compounds plus h2 plus o2 gives us combustion products plus h2o plus ions plus radicals plus electrons a wire loop ion collector collects the charged particles and produces an electrical current which is fed into the printer fid is sensitive only to oxidizable compounds and does not respond to water vapor or carbon dioxide since the detector response is proportional to the amount of organic material in the carrier gas quantitative analysis can be done now let us understand thermal conductivity cell detector thermal conductivity cell detector it functions by measuring the temperature dependent electrical resistance of a hot wire the detector unit consists of a platinum or platinum alloy wire through which an electrical current is passed the hot wire is cooled as the carrier gas passes over it The extent of cooling depends on the gas flow rate and the thermal conductivity of the gas. Since the flow rate of a carrier gas remains constant during a typical GC analysis, only changes in thermal conductivity of the vapor will change the temperature and therefore the resistance of the wire. Organic vapors usually have lower thermal conductivities than the carrier gas. When the carrier gas containing an organic vapor exits the column and passes over the wire, the electrical resistance of the wire decreases. The changing current in the wire is amplified and mentioned on a recorder. The extent of resistance change depends on the amount of organic vapor in the carrier gas. Therefore the size of the recorder signal is a measure of the amount of the chemical constituent in the sample the thermal conductivity cell has a poor level of sensitivity but is widely used because it does not destroy the sample a thermal conductivity cell can be used when the sample are to be collected from the column now let us understand electron capture detector electron capture detector electron capture detector responds only to substances that capture electrons particularly halogen containing compounds it is widely used in the analysis of polychlorinated compounds such as the pesticides ddt dieldrin and aldrin it has a very high sensitivity and upper temperature limit of 300 degree celsius but its linear range is lower than that of fid 
The detector works by means of a radioactive source nickel 63 ionizing the column gas the electrons so produced giving the current across the electrodes to which a suitable voltage is applied when an electron capturing compound emerges from the column the ionized electrons are captured the current drops and this change in current is recorded if you are watching my video for the first time please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads directly onto your mobile phone thank you